Thanks for checking out this video. Um, as the title for this video will say, I just kind of want to talk about horror and why I'm into horror stuff. Also, with this channel, I want to put out more videos having to do with horror. I want to put out more videos in general other than just the unboxings I'm doing, which I will still do those. Um, the original BAM box, horror BAM box, and the snacku, uh, Japanese snack box. And I might end up adding some here or there. I might have to drop one for who knows what reason, because things come up, but at the moment I'm just going to stick with those three, but, you know, leave some comments, give me your thoughts on whatever you want. But anyway, I want to go more in a horror direction with the channel overall, and like I said, I'm not going to drop the unboxing, so it won't be fully horror, but I want to do more horror videos, and that's why I figured this is a good place to start, talk about why am I into horror, and then hopefully that gets you, if you're watching this, into... Uh, thinking about why you like horror, what your origins are of your interest in horror, if you're interested in horror, and if you're not, you know, why does it not appeal to you? And we can have those discussions down below, which would be fun. So, well, first of all, if you like this video or you like any of the uh, videos that I put out on the channel, please just hit the subscribe for me. I really appreciate that. It doesn't take you a whole lot of time. You just click it real quick. Uh, it's very painless for you, but it can mean a lot for my channel, so I would really appreciate that. Uh, even if you don't like any of the videos, if you wouldn't mind, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so for me personally with horror, big, big horror fan, uh, that's only really happened within the past maybe five to six years that I've gotten significantly more into horror, uh, try to watch tons and tons and tons of horror movies. So let's go all the way back. When I was a young child, because... You know, I spent a lot of time thinking about this. At first, uh, I was just like, oh, I don't know why I got into horror. It just kind of happened. But then I started really thinking about it because my mother at one point was like, why are you into horror films? I don't understand. Where did this come from? No one else in the family is really into horror films. And then that got me to thinking. And I thought, well, you know what? I was plopped down in front of the TV a good amount, which people around my age, if you were born in like the 80s, late 70s and, and into the 80s, maybe even early 90s, you know, your parents kind of set you down in front of the TV quite a bit. Uh, that was the case with me. I was, I, although I should clarify this by saying I also spent a lot of time outside as well. It was just when I was inside, I was in front of the TV pretty much the whole time when I was inside. But I did spend a lot of time playing outside. But anyway, the shows that, that I would watch and that my parents were totally fine with were like The Munsters, The Addams Family, Scooby-Doo, you know, stuff like that that's... Definitely kid-friendly, but it has a lot of horror elements to it, like very kid-friendly horror stuff, like soft. Um, but it's like super imaginative and interesting, and I think that's what kind of hooked me at a young age. Then as I went on, you know, I got a little less horror stuff into my life because uh, my parents actually clamped down a lot on what we were watching. Uh, you know, like we couldn't watch The Simpsons and stuff like that. Like it was considered to be too bad for us when we were in like middle school or uh, elementary school, middle school. But once I got into high school, my parents were kind of like, all right, you're much older now, you know, kind of watch what you want. And I was like, I want to watch the X-Files. So X-Files was a, was a pretty good jumping off point for me. Uh, but even before that, when I was in middle school, I kind of did the bad thing and I would, you know, watch horror movies when I wasn't supposed to. Uh, I would, um, actually watch them while my parents were there, but it'd be like in little clips, like literally I'd be in the main room watching and my mom would be in the kitchen and I'd just keep the volume low enough and then have, that's where that last channel button comes in real handy. So you just kind of have that set to something else that your parents would actually believe you were watching and then watch your horror movie very, very low. And then when it seems like they're coming towards the room, you just last channel I'm like, oh, I was just watching the baseball game or I was watching cartoons you know, whatever. So I would do that. So I would get clips of, you know, little snippets of things like Friday the 13th or like Nightmare on Elm Street, but it had to be playing on TV. So you didn't see anything too horrific. So, you know, it was like horror light in a sense. Uh, and that really piqued my interest, not just because the material was interesting, but it was also that kind of aspect of like, ooh, I'm getting away with something I shouldn't be doing, which, you know, as you know, when you're a kid, you always want to do that. Do you? I mean, I always wanted to kind of do that. But kids these days, I don't know if they experience the same thing. But when I was a kid, I was really, you know, wanted to get away with some things. So that kind of felt that way for me. Um, and then as I got older, uh, jumping off of X-Files, because I was really into that. And there's obviously a lot of horror in X-Files, even though there's, you know, sci-fi 
uh, mixed in there. So went into college, and then that's when I started watching a lot more. So when I got into college, I had a lot of friends who were kind of like, oh, you haven't seen this movie, you haven't seen this. Like People saying, like, you haven't seen RoboCop, you haven't seen The Shining, you haven't seen The Exorcist, you haven't seen... Just going... And it wasn't just horror movies, it was a lot of movies. We didn't watch a whole lot of movies uh, in my with my family when I was growing up. And like I said, a lot of the stuff was was pretty closely monitored until I got to high school. And even then, like a lot of times when I was watching television, it was with the family. Uh, so it had to be appropriate for everyone. And I had a younger sister, so, you know. So uh, when I was in college, everyone's like, you haven't seen this, you haven't seen this, you haven't seen this. So that's when I really started getting into movies in general. And I just like watch as much as I could, trying to get caught up on all the stuff that were considered kind of classics. I'm actually still doing that right now. I'm in my late 30s, and I'm still trying to catch up on stuff because it's a tough balance of, like, all these movies that you missed from so long ago, ones even further back from decades before you were born that you want to check out that are very influential and supposedly very good, and then all the new films that just keep pouring out that you want to check out. So, you know. So anyway, in my adulthood, my, you know, middle adulthood at the moment... Um, I've, I've kind of really reflected on, you know, what do I really like about horror at this point? And a lot of it has to come down to the imagination. I like the imagination of the horror genre quite a bit. I feel like of all the genres out there, it seems to be the most diverse because there are a lot of subgenres of horror. And there are, you know, plenty of subgenres of other film genres. But uh, with horror, I feel like... I feel like there's tons, there are tons of subgenres, you know, like ghost stories, you got the slasher, you got torture porn, you got giallo, you know, all sorts of crazy stuff, you know, body, even like sub-subgenres, like, you know, a body horror stuff like Cronenberg does, you know, crazy, whacking stuff like David Lynch, although I don't know if David Lynch is straight up horror, he's more, he has some horror elements and what might be considered like horror adjacent, um, Twin Peaks has a decent amount of that type of stuff. Mulholland Drive, Lost Highway, those types of films. I don't think they're straight horror, though. But anyway, sidetracked. Um, so yeah, just the imagination. The stories are usually very compelling to me. They're usually very original. And I feel like other genres, like dramas, like action films, they're, they're usually playing with a lot of the same formulas, a lot of the same ideas. Everything feels very familiar. And with horror... There certainly are those ones where they still feel very familiar, but it's usually the, the writers and directors are trying to kind of put their own spin on it. So there's something new in there. And I just feel like that genre has a lot more um, originality and it's significantly more diverse with what's going on in it. Uh, there's also, I'm sure, a small part of me that still feels that little bit like I shouldn't be watching this because there are people out there who are just like, ew, you like horror films? I don't understand that, which... I'll talk in another video about my feelings on people who are like, I don't like horror, and why do you like horror? But, you know, but this is my explanation of why I personally like horror. Um, I've also found that I've really gotten into uh, the more intellectual side of horror, because a lot of times horror films and horror writing and horror artwork, all sorts of horror things, kind of go with making social commentary, kind of looking at the times we live in right now and the times that were back when they were done and what social anxieties were, you know, what was going wrong in the world, what people were upset about, what are problems. You know, usually there's something more than just, I want to make a scary movie. A lot of times there's some sort of underlying message or even if there's not an intended underlying message, a lot of these people who are making the films are doing it while, um, thinking about what's personal to them, you know, what's scary to them, what is concerning to them, what gives them anxiety uh, that would translate well to a horror film. And that's just one of the cool things. Uh, the other thing for me is I'm not really a religious person, and I, I feel like, I don't know if other people who aren't religious feel the same way as me on this, but having an interest in horror and seeing you know, uh, represented death on like a screen and in books and stuff like that, it puts me a little more at ease because my belief on what happens when you die is, is it's blackness. It's, it's not even that actually it's, it's nothingness. It's the idea of, you know, what do you remember from before you were born? That's what it is. 
And that's scary, you know. I, I mean, I wish, in a way, I wish I had religion in my life for that reason because I feel like it would make things easier to handle. But I don't, and I don't really think I can change that, honestly, with the way I think. Um, so horror actually kind of helps with that. It kind of um, makes death and and people's demise a little more familiar to me, uh, as opposed to if I wasn't into horror, I, it would probably be a lot more shocking of a thing and, and more scary for you know, knowing that eventually I'm going to die, because we're all going there. Um, but yeah, I mean, oh, and when I was, I got a little bit sidetracked, that happens when I just talk about this stuff, uh, the the um, intellectual aspect of it. Uh, and another thing is I've, I've found some really good writings that kind of break down the meanings in film, uh, specifically horror film, and, and um, making comparisons amongst a few of them. Uh, and I'll throw a few things out there right now. Uh, Rue Morgue Magazine out of Canada, they do a really good job. They have a lot of cool intellectual stuff. But they have just like movie reviews and book reviews and all sorts of things. That's a really good source. Uh, I've been a subscriber to that magazine for about 10 years, maybe a little bit longer now. And um, actually a person who is now, and just this just happened within the past year, who's now the head editor of Rue Morgue Magazine, Andrea Subasati, along with a um, published horror author, uh, Alexandra West, which Andrea, Andrea is as well, but Alexandra isn't known within Rue Morgue because I don't think she contributes to that, but she's written some books. Uh, the two of them, Andrea and Alex, do a, a podcast called The Faculty of Horror, and it's from an intellectual standpoint. It's very analytical. It's breaking down a lot of the uh, horror tropes and ideas within specific horror films and kind of tying it together and talking about horror in general as well. And it's really intellectual and it's really cool and it's just super interesting. I would recommend people check out Rue Morgue and check out The Faculty of Horror. Those are my favorite things. But um, that's kind of a quick and d dirty in a sense of, you know, my interest in horror and why I'm interested in it. But I'd love to hear everyone else, you know, if you want to leave a comment down there and say, hey, you know, my story was kind of similar, or mine's totally different, or I don't even like horror, and then we can talk about why, you know, why is it that you don't think you like horror? Because uh, maybe you do, because that's another thing, is some people kind of feel like they don't, but they like movies that have elements in it, kind of like, like the movie Seven, I know plenty of people were just like, I don't like horror at all, and then they're just like, I like the movie Seven, and it's like, there's a lot of horror in Seven, so you like some horror, but anyway... Let's just start talking. Let's geek out about horror stuff. Bring up specific movies, books, whatever. I haven't read that many books, though, I will say. Um, more of a visual person, more into film. So, anyway, thank you, everyone, for checking this out. Once again, if you could hook me up with a subscribe, I would much appreciate that. I um, want to get to a point where maybe I can monetize this, but um, that's not, like, a huge concern. I do want to try and throw out more videos here and there, and I want to have more focus on horror, and let's do it. But thank you, and until next time, keep it brutal.